going to be my very first declutter video. I've never done a video like this before, but I desperately needed to clean out my makeup collection. And I actually need to split this video up into two because if not, it would probably be like over an hour long. So this is part one. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter basically like the first half of my makeup collection. And then the next video that I post will be part two of my makeup collection. <laughs> And even after part two, I still didn't declutter any lip products. And there's also some like miscellaneous single eyeshadows that I keep in like other parts of the room that I also haven't decluttered yet. So if you would like to see a part three, let me know and I will do that. I have to declutter myself anyway, so just let me know if you want me to make a video out of it. But throughout the course of these first two parts, I decluttered this much makeup, this whole box is filled to the brim with makeup that I just, I don't use, I don't reach for, and I think might be better off in a new home. Just because I am decluttering this stuff, it doesn't mean that they're bad products. Some of them are good, just don't work for me. Some of them don't work for my skin tone. Some of them don't work for my skin type. Some of them are expired and will be thrown away. And some of them are brand new and will be donated. So if you're wondering where all this stuff is gonna go, I'm either gonna find it a new home assuming it's not expired, or if it is expired, stuff that can't be donated, I'm just gonna pitch. What is my little poop swirl doing now? You're also gonna get a little glimpse of my storage system, my organization system that I have in place to store my ridiculous amounts of makeup. And just one more thing I wanna say really quickly before we get started. Like I said, you're gonna see pretty much my entire makeup collection in today's video and on Friday's video. This is in no way meant to be a braggy sort of a video. I know I have a ridiculous amount of makeup, but to some people, I have a minuscule amount of makeup. Believe it or not, I have more makeup than any one person needs, and that's why I declutter. So that's everything for right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are. This is where I house most of my makeup. It is an Ikea Alex drawer unit. If you watch YouTube, if you own makeup, you probably have heard of these. If you have not, I will link them down below. But this is where I keep most of my makeup. So there are like certain things in certain categories that I probably won't declutter that much of, to be quite honest with you. And I sort of organize my makeup in terms of like most used to least used. So we're probably gonna declutter more stuff out of these bottom drawers compared to the ones at the top. But this here is the first drawer. This is where I keep most of my like base face products like primers and concealers, foundations, eye primers, a couple of like illuminator stuff, setting sprays and powder. The Maybelline Baby Skin, I'm just gonna get rid of this because it's like, it's almost out and I've owned it for a really long time so it's probably just time to pitch it anyway. My Neutrogena Oil Free Moisture, definitely keeping this. I use this pretty much every time I do my makeup. Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I will not throw this away until there's literally nothing else I can get out of this. It's my favorite smoothing primer and it is a pretty penny keeping. This is another pore filling primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I don't love this as much as I love the Makeup Forever one, but I did get this in a boxy charm, and I'm just gonna keep using it until I'm out, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it. I would purchase the Maybelline Baby Skin or the Step 1 from Makeup Forever before I would invest in this one. Keeping both of these, I use these quite often. They're more Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizers. This is the Correcting one, and this is the Radiance version. These were both TJ Maxx scores, so I'm gonna keep them. Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Again, I'm definitely keeping this one. It's basically out, but I'm gonna keep using it until it's 150 zillion percent out, which is gonna be quite difficult because this is in a beautiful glass frosted bottle. It's not like it's a tube that I can slice open to get out more products, but you best believe I'm using this as much as I possibly can. This was a point perk and it is phenomenal keeping. And again, I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. I have used this several times and honestly, I don't ever really notice anything crazy. I like it, but I definitely need to, I guess, test it out more and with different products and actually pay attention to how it works with my skin. It's, it's a good base for makeup. I don't notice anything bad happening when I use this, so that's good. 
So the next little cubby over is concealers. Let me get rid of my grimy sponges. Tarte Shape Tape, do I have to say anything? Keeping Essence All I Need Concealer Palette. This is honestly one of the correcting products I own that I reach for the most. If I can open it. I like to sort of mix these two underneath the eyes and the green one obviously I love to use to correct my redness. I'm gonna keep this one. I use it all the time. LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Peach. I actually don't use this as much as I should, so I'm gonna keep this to encourage myself to use it more. LA Girl Pro Conceal in white. I don't love this. These two are different in the sense that I use this as like a base. I, I put this down first and I blend it out and then I put probably shape tape over top of it. I use this more so as like a mixer and in that case it messes with the consistency and the formula of my concealer and I don't want my shape tape formula messed with. So I'm going to keep this one and I think I'm going to pass along the white one. Maybelline Fit Me in 15 Fair. I am going to keep this one. Sometimes if my under eyes are being a little bit more problematic, they're a little bit more dry, I will mix this one in with Shape Tape. It's a little bit more moisturizing. I also just recently saw that they came out with a lighter shade, which I am so excited for. This matches my skin tone pretty well. It's just not very brightening for underneath the eyes. So I am going to keep this and I have repurchased this time and time again. So I probably won't get rid of this until it's completely gone. And in which case I'm going to purchase the lighter shade. This is the NYX HD concealer, I think. I don't, I, I hate this stuff. I don't use this as much anymore. I have repurchased this before. I hate that the writing comes off. It's a, it's a fine, formula. I have nothing against the formula. It's fine. I just, it is a hassle that the writing comes off and it's not just that the writing comes off. It's that it comes off and it like stains your fingers black and the packaging is crap. I mean, I don't know. This, this just needs to be thrown away. It's too old. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Again, the writing rubbed off. I am going to keep this because A, it costs a pretty penny. B, there's sort of like memories tied to it. And C, I need to try this as a spot concealer because I have the shade Neutral Medium. I bought this before I knew anything about makeup. This doesn't really, it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone. So it's definitely too dark for under my eyes in my opinion, but I'm gonna keep it to encourage myself to use it more. <laughs> Wet n Wild Photo Focus, this is in the shade Light Ivory, another range that needs to be expanded in both directions in my opinion, but I do really love this one. It's a great concealer for a super affordable price and I use it all the time, especially for spot concealing, so I'm keeping. This is another Wet n Wild one. This is the Cover All Cover Stick. I used to use this for spot concealing. Obviously there's a lot left, but it's old and nasty and I don't really reach for this anymore. If I'm gonna spot conceal, I use Shape Tape or the Photo Focus Wet n Wild. So I'm gonna pass that one along as well. Foundations, I just recently decluttered my foundation. So I don't know if I'm getting rid of anything in here. It Cosmetics CC Cream, I, I just recently got this. I would be crazy to get rid of this. L'Oreal Pro Glow in 201. This is almost out, so I'm gonna keep it until I'm out of it. And I think I could even go one shade up because this shade doesn't really match me. It's not too light, it just, I feel like it has the wrong undertone. Keeping Pro Matte 101. I think I'm gonna keep this one too just because it's a nice sort of staple to have in case I'm getting super oily in the T-zone. I can just pop this on my T-zone. It's just, this is one of those foundations that I just always wanna have on hand. It's one of my favorites. Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is almost out, but again, I'm keeping it and I'm using every last ounce because this is the most expensive foundation I've ever, ever used, purchased. So I'm gonna keep this until it's out. Revlon Color Stay Normal to Dry. This is probably one of my favorite foundations of all time. So I'm keeping it. So this here is just like a little chapstick. I keep this to put underneath lipsticks and stuff like that. I'm just, I'm gonna keep that. This is the Inglot Eye Makeup Base. This was pretty cheap. It was only 10 bucks for a high-end brand. I felt like that wasn't bad. I don't like this. So I am going to pass this one along. It's not terrible it just it's too dry for me if you have really oily eyelids you might like this it's too dry to even blend out i i don't like this eye primer i'm going to pass this one along this is another point perk so of course i'm going to be keeping this one it's the cover effects custom enhancer drops in the shade moonlight i don't use these very often but when i do i love 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 the finish it is a little bit too dark on me but it is the winter months and when it's a little bit sunnier and I have a little bit more of a tan to me I'll probably get much more use out of this 
Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I am keeping this until it runs out, which is going to be soon. I've had this for a ridiculously long time and it's not even a full size. It's like a, a little sample. This is one of my favorite eye primers. It does a great job of making sure my shadows don't crease. This is really, really good stuff. This is the Bare Minerals eye color in velvet vanilla it's like a loose eyeshadow basically i like to use this to set down my eye primers it's very brightening even though i am very fair but these eye colors by bare minerals are so incredibly pigmented and finely milled i love them i am going to keep this one this right here is actually an eye primer that i got as part of my kit from school which i need to put back in my kit from school because i never use this this is the medium dark shade this is probably my favorite eye primer I've ever used, like ever, ever, when I had oily skin because I haven't used it since my skin has been drier, but I used up the fair one and then I'm pretty sure I also used up the medium one and this one is just too dark for me. I don't reach for it because it's, I mean, obviously it's way too stinking dark, so I'm just going to put this one back in my kit. Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I love this. This is by Wet n Wild. I really love this, but since my skin has been drier, it's just, it's been giving me issues, but I'm not ready to let this go yet. It's so inexpensive it's good but i just i don't know it's it's too dry for the state that my skin's in right now maybe once i get my skin sorted out and maybe if my skin ever goes back to being oily i don't know i have to test this one out more because i'm just i'm not ready to get rid of it yet this is the temtu and boxycharm liquid glow i don't use this very much i kind of want to i mean i was planning on keeping this but like do i want to keep it because i never use this i'm gonna keep this can I use this in my airbrush kit? Because I do have an airbrush gun. And I would really like to try it in that because that would apply a highlight just like so beautifully. I'm gonna keep it. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Setting sprays, I'm, uh, I'm uh, keeping them all. I like to keep setting sprays because even if I don't like the mister, like to put it on my face, I can use them to wet eyeshadows, things like that. They're just, I mean, they're just nice to have. So I'm gonna keep these. And obviously my freaking RCMA no color powder. I think we can all assume I'm gonna keep that. And then here in the front, I have a sharpener, my little hair sock bun thing to get off pigments off my brushes and stuff, and scotch tape. And then back here in the back, I have this Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer Sample, which I have used the fair shade, and I actually really did like this. It felt very like sort of like transfer proof, but none of these other shades are gonna fit me, so I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of this. And drawer number one is done. On to drawer number two. Ooh, I don't know how much of this stuff I'm gonna get rid of. Oh, I have a problem with letting go of things. This is the NARS bronzing powder in Laguna. I've only tried this once and I didn't love it. It's only a sample, obviously, so I'm gonna keep this, give it a, another shot. This is my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Illumination. Again, I just recently got this. Not that you'd be able to tell because I've hit major pan on it, but I am still testing this out, obviously keeping. It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. I use it all the time. I have another one in my purse. I absolutely love it keeping. This one I obviously love, and I haven't used this one in a while, but I forgot to mention this one in my yearly favorites. I totally should have mentioned this. I use this all the time in 2017. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in Warm Light. It's it's such a beautiful powder. It's like undetectable on the skin. Assuming you use like a, a relatively lightweight foundation underneath, you can't even see this on the skin. Love it. Keeping. Stargazer Pressed Powder in White. It's a straight up white powder. This is really nice if you're really fair just to brighten up the under eyes. It's a great staple to have on hand. Keeping. This I should get rid of because I never use it, but I don't think I've even given it a chance. I know it looks like I've used it, but this is actually a hand-me-down from my mama. This looks really yellow toned. Is that gonna like fit me? Maybe when I have a tan, this might work better for me. It's the Bare Minerals Ready SPF 20 foundation. That's weird. It's a powder foundation that has SPF in it. I actually have another shade of this that I will get rid of that's darker I believe I'm gonna get rid of the darker of the two shades I just I, I just don't use this I need to test this out more is what I need to do let's keep going with this little front section here this is the physician's formula butter bronzer if anyone asked me to get rid of this I'd probably cry no that's dramatic but obviously I'm keeping this as my favorite ever contouring blush and bronzing powder you know what I think I'm gonna get rid of this just because it's old and I never reach for this and if I really missed it that much, it's not gonna be that much of a burden to replace. I think this is like $3 and this is probably expired anyway, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the Avon Ideal Flawless Press Powder in the 
shade Fawn. This is actually a face powder that's in a sort of more like bronzer shade for me. I'm gonna keep this. I like to bronze with face powders that are too dark for me because they're face powders, so they're meant to be very blendable. This is the NYC Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder. It's in Coney Island Glow. <sighs> you know what? I never reach for this. I'm gonna pass this one along. I am gonna pass this one along. This is the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. Again, I need to test this one out more, which I'm probably gonna be more likely to do in the summer months when I'm more tan because I think this oxidizes on me. It turns like sort of like yellowy orange on me, just, just slightly. So I think it just might work better when I have a tan. I never reach for this. I need to test it out more. Highlights, this is my Ofra Rodeo Drive, obviously keeping. Ofra Beverly Hills, obviously keeping. Makeup Revolution Vivid Bakes in Radiant Lights, obviously keeping. This is like one of my favorite pinky toned highlighters. It's so pretty and it's so inexpensive. This one, you guys, I feel like maybe I need to give this a little bit more of a chance. And I know you see me use this in videos relatively often, but I cannot get on board with this. I can't figure out why everyone loves it so much. It's not that it's bad. It just, I don't like that the shades I like to use are so small. If it was like, maybe, it, maybe it's like the separation of all the colors. If this was one color, if they mixed all of these shades together and it was just a pan of one color, I'd probably use this more and I'd probably keep it, but I don't know if I like this. But I feel like I have to keep it because so many people like it that I feel like I have to give it a chance and I feel like I have to see what I'm missing because I just, I don't get it. I don't know. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It's in the shade Be My Highlight. I do love this. It's the perfect mix of natural and dramatic, but I do think it's a little bit too dark on me when I am my fairest self. It's definitely too dark to put in the inner corners. I get this weird like orangey tinge to my face. I don't know. It's, it's really beautiful and it's really cheap. So I think I'm gonna keep it just to give it another shot. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I actually think that I might get rid of this. I've had this for so long and I have a, it's also a sample size, but it's not this sample size. It's like a point perk size of the exact same bronzer and this one is old it says 12 months expiration date so you know what i am gonna get rid of this because i have a backup that i haven't even opened yet i'm gonna take this out of my drawers but i honestly might keep this just for like sentimental reasons because i got this because i heard about it on youtube like when i first started my youtube channel so i'm gonna keep it but like get rid of it you know this is the kevin aquan medium sculpting powder i'm keeping this because it's a great sculpting powder and the full size of this is pricey people like it's expensive. So I'm gonna keep this. This is my go-to contouring powder. I love it. Milani Luminoso. Would you guys kill me if I got rid of this? I don't really use this. It's a beautiful blush, but I don't reach for like peachy blushes all that often. More so in the spring summertime, but I think I might pass this along. I need to be more cutthroat. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Milani Dolce Pink. This is another baked powder one. This one's a different story. I truly love this. I lean more for these like pinky tones. This one's a little bit more glittery than Luminoso, but I prefer the color. And now that I'm trying to get my skin under control, I don't mind these more shimmery cheek products. I used to never reach for this because it would just emphasize all the texture on my cheeks, but, but it is a really beautiful shade. I'm gonna keep that one. These are all my Wet n Wild ones. I basically bought them all just to have them all, but the only ones I really reach for are here. These three, these two, I don't, I don't really reach for these as much. I'm gonna get rid of Fantastic Plastic Pink and Pearlescent Pink. I'm gonna pass those along and I'm keeping Rose Champagne, which is definitely my most used, Apricot in the Middle and Mellow Wine. I'm keeping all of my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. These are expensive and they're really, really good. They're my favorite blushes of all time, Dazzled, Doll Face, and Party. This is the Studio Makeup Soft Blend Blush in Sahara. I got this in a BoxyCharm. I use it all the time keeping. Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love. So stunning, very natural, but still rosy. At the same time, love it, it's cheap. Keeping this one I don't reach for as often. It's the same Satin Touch Blush formula, but it's in Satin Coral. Again, I don't reach for the warmer blushes all that often, but this is broken. So it's like, do I throw it away? Do I find a new home? Do I fix it and then find a new home? This is a Mary Kay blush and it's actually like a, uh, a magnetic one. I could probably just pop this into a Z palette, but it's the Mary Kay blush in Shy. This is another hand-me-down from my mom. This is such a stunning blush. It's almost got like a borderline goldish duochrome hue to it. 
It's got the perfect amount of sheen to it. It's not glittery in any way, but it does have a nice shimmer. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one, but probably pop it into a Z palette just to free up another slot here in my organizer. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Aphrodisiac. Keeping this, I love the formula, I love the color, it's beautiful. This is the Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money, obviously. <laughs> I really like this one. I need to repurchase this because I am constantly reaching for it. This is beautiful on the inner corner. This one is Flexitarian, also beautiful. I don't love it as much as Lunch Money, obviously, but look at that sheen. You can just see it in the pan. These are the most intense highlighters known to man. They're super inexpensive. These are phenomenal. I don't think I can get rid of any of these. This is the NYX Powder Blush. It's in the shade Mocha. This is beautiful. I reach for it more often. I used it in a video a couple of months ago, and before then I hadn't touched it for months, maybe even like a year or more. I hadn't touched this, and then I used it in a video, thought it looked stunning, and so now I reach for it more often. Definitely keeping. This is an e.l.f. Mineral Blush in the shade Plum. I don't really reach for this that often. Plus, again, with the loose stuff, man. I don't know about this one. I think I'm gonna pass this one along. Again, it's e.l.f. If I miss it that much, I'll just buy another one. It's like $3. Another essence blush that I'm definitely keeping. This is the Silky Touch Blush, which I don't think they make this anymore, but it's so beautiful. It's called Baby Doll. I could never get rid of this, especially since they don't make it anymore as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna keep it. Some of these e.l.f. ones I'm definitely gonna get rid of. I'm keeping Moonlight Pearls. This one's beautiful. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is the Baked Highlighter and Blush in Rolls Gold. It's got a highlighter on one side, a blush on the other. I'm gonna pass this one along. I don't reach for it considering I have the Moonlight Pearls. Shade, Blush Gems. I don't reach for this one a lot. Oh, that's really pretty. Why don't I reach for this? Okay, I'm keeping. That's a beautiful color. Pink Diamonds, I think. This is really pretty. It looks a lot lighter on camera. I never reach for this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pass this one along. I, I, I know I won't reach for it. This one here is ColourPop Wisp. It's so beautiful. It's a cult classic. I don't reach for this one. Really? That's not puppy's makeup. That's mama's makeup. That's a mama's makeup. And then I sit here and wonder why I always get dog hair all up in my makeup. This dog only wants me to hang out with him when I'm busy. But when I'm not busy and I want him to hang out with me, he wants nothing to do with me. I don't reach for this one that often because it is a little bit too deep for my skin tone, but people always say that this is identical to Becca Opal, which I've never tried before. I've never swatched that in nothing. I think maybe I could pull this one off with a tan and a really, really fluffy brush so I don't get too much of that deeper pigment, if that makes sense. I, I'm gonna keep this just because I just can't let go of it. I just, I can't, I can't. Next, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is the only shade that I own. It's in Crown of My Canopy. I never reached for this. I knew it was too dark for my skin tone when I bought it, but it was just that everybody on YouTube was raving about it and talking about how fantastic the formula is. So I grabbed it and I don't reach for this, like ever. It is really beautiful. It's just, it's too deep for my skin tone. I'm either gonna pass this along or I will keep it for my kit, but I sure don't use this. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in In a Purple Haze. I never reach for this, like, ever. It's like, I got a lot of the ombre up in that swatch. It's, like, really pigmented, but I don't reach for a purple blush. Should I keep this to use as an eyeshadow? Because I don't, I don't reach for this ever, but, I mean, it is a really pretty purple. I just, I wouldn't put it on my face. And then this little miscellaneous bronzer here just doesn't fit in any of my slots. It's the Bronze Essentials Beauté Basics, Beauty Basics, I don't really know. I got this in a BoxyCharm, and I actually use this more than I thought I would. It's a beautiful formula. It's beautiful and glimmery when you mix it with the more golden shade. This will be so beautiful in the summertime. I'm gonna keep it. I'm actually doing really well. I'm proud of myself. Here we are, third drawer down. This one is gonna be hard to declutter. Let's start with mascaras, that'll be easier. This one is relatively new to my collection. I got this in a boxy charm. It's very lengthening. I really like it. The Tarte Lash Paint Keeping. Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is probably my most reached for mascara. I'm gonna keep that one as well. L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is brand spanking new to my collection. I think I've used it twice and I really, really like it so far. I'm gonna keep testing this one out. Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. This is good but probably expired. I'm terrible about throwing away expired mascara, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is another product that came in my kit from school and I don't like this. And I never use it, so I don't 
really want it in here anymore. I think I'm gonna put this in my kit as well. Elf Lash Tint Mascara. I love the wand on this bad boy. It's so thin, perfect for the lower lashes I'm keeping. Superhero by It Cosmetics. I'm keeping this. This is also new to my collection and I'm still testing this one out. I just have too many mascaras open at once, huh? And then this is the Unique Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lashes. This isn't bad. I feel like maybe I need to test this one out a little bit more. And sometimes I honestly like to mix the fibers with like other mascaras because I like that the fibers are black. Have you seen those mascaras where the fibers are like a bright white color and it gives your lashes this weird like grayish tint? I don't know. These do kind of fall on my cheeks though throughout the day. I don't know. I'm gonna keep this and keep testing it out. This little nugget I keep so in this little one, I keep sort of like shadow sticks, liquid shadows, things like that. These are my Stila Glitter and Glow thingy dingies, Smoky Storm and Ballet Baby. These suckers are expensive and they're beautiful. I'm keeping them. This is going to be so beautiful for like a Valentine's Day look. Oh, love it. This little nugget I got as a point perk, I believe. It's the Makeup Forever Aqua XL M56. This is a beautiful shade. It's a beautiful formula. It's basically a liquid eyeshadow, but it's matte. It's beautiful. I love it. I need to reach for this more. If it wasn't so small, I would be able to see it better. Ah! I do like these. I need to reach for these more often. Back when I first discovered them, I was talking about them constantly, but I have sort of fallen off the, the Revlon eye art train. Ooh, that one's like really separating. I'm going to keep these. These are nice for like fun looks. I don't really love the glitter side of any of them really. I prefer the like more metallic liquid eyeshadow and I would pick more of these up. These are, these are really nice. I really do like them. They take a minute to dry down, but they have a beautiful metallic finish. Some of these I need to get rid of because I don't use them all. I don't reach for every single one. Oh, I don't really want to get rid of these. Well, these are both blue. Maybe I'll get rid of one of the blue ones. I'm going to get rid of the electric blue by NYX. Just since I have the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil, this one's in Pool Party. I don't need this many blue eyeshadow grands, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one's not blue though, this one's like a periwinkle. And it's a really, really pretty color. I never reach for it, but I want it. I want to keep it because it's so pretty. This here is probably my most reached for one. It's the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in Seashells. I'm keeping that because I use it constantly. Oyster, keeping it. Cottage Cheese, I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's, it's like a white, but it's kind of shimmery. I'm gonna get rid of this one because if I wanna reach for a stark white, I reach for the LA Colors one because it's white and it's matte. And it's, it's just a little bit more pigmented. So I'm gonna get rid of the NYX white one. NYX Black Bean, it's just a black keeping. NYX Sparkle Nude, this one's really pretty. I'm gonna keep this one. NYX Pure Gold, I don't use this one as much, but why do I feel like I wanna keep this one so badly? I'm gonna keep it. All right, let's go through my brow thingy thingy. This is the MAC Eyebrows in Lingering. I'm keeping this. I got this in a boxy charm. I love how thin this is, but I don't like that it doesn't come with a spoolie. But I am going to keep this. It's, it's not bad. This is another product that came in my kit, so I am going to be keeping this. This is my little finishing touch razor thingy dingy. I use this every single time I do my brows. Definitely keeping this. I spent like maybe like $12 on this and I've had it for two or three years. You just switch out the batteries when it gets crappy. I don't like this stuff at all. The Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. No matter what brow product I pair with this, this brow gel, it like clumps up and it leaves weird, not clumps up, but it leaves weird little like flakies on my brows, but not like skin flakies. It's like, it's so hard to explain. I'll probably give this to like my mom or, you know, someone who doesn't care about germs and, you know, maybe she'll like it because it is a pretty pricey brow product. I got this in a boxy charm. I don't love it, so I'm going to pass that along. Easy Breezy Brow Shape and Defined by CoverGirl. Do I have to say anything? I'm keeping it. It's my most used brow product. This is one of those Amazon razor things, but this one's like all janky and sharp. I'm throwing this one away. Elf Eyebrow Kit. <sighs> I used this quite a bit when I first got it, but I just don't really reach for it that much anymore. And this is also a hand-me-down from my mom, so this one might just get thrown away. Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. This is the convertible brow. I'm gonna keep this just because I need to reach for it more. It's pretty good and you can use it wet or dry, so that's cool. And worst case scenario, I can clean it off with some alcohol and use it in my kit, so I'm gonna keep this. 
This is some lotion for your eyebrows after you wax them that I got in some kit by Sally Hansen that was terrible, but I still do like to use the lotion on my brows. This is a week. This is what is happening. This is like a sample brush thing from a guinea brow sample, and it's just been like floating in here, which is kind of gross. So I'm gonna throw that away. I don't even know what brand this is by. I don't know how I ended up with this. Oh, whoa, that is like really pigmented. You know what, I'm gonna pass this on to my best friend because she struggles to find a color that's right for her and I think this one might fit her because she's pretty blonde but it's like, a, it's like a dirty blonde and this is like taupe enough, like cool tone enough that I think it might look good on her brows. I'm gonna pass this along to her. Winky Lux brow pencil thing. Again, I got this in a boxy charm. I like the shape of the pencil. I like the shade of the pencil. I'm gonna keep it. Two more brow products that came in my kit. I totally messed up and I think I used this on my brows or my best friend's brows, I don't remember. Obviously I can use it on people's brows but I forgot to use a disposable spoolie so now I have to use it. And I don't like this one either. I just, I think I don't really like clear brow gels. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this one. And this is just an eyebrow pencil. It's way less creamy than that last one. Um, why is it white? I don't know. I don't really want this. This isn't that good. I don't, I don't know. It came in my kit, but like, uh, I don't know. I'm getting rid of this. Ah, this is my It Cosmetics Brow Power. I do really, really like this brow pencil. I'm going to keep this one. So that's going to do it for part one of my declutter. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine. And I will see you guys next time. My throat hurts, man. I'm talking too much. No, no, no. Can you lay down, honey? Oh, you want to be on camera? You want to say hi? Mm -hmm. I twisted it the wrong way. Come on, you little. I'm like, so afraid that I'm being too loud. I need to like whisper. I hate living in an apartment building. Really? Alright, alright. What is that smell? Oh my god, does this stink? How long do these last? You have a belly ache? I gave you food, go get your food. Am I tightening it? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. But what way am I facing? L'Oreal, L'Oreal, right? Is this L'Oreal? Yeah.